We're about to go on a journey. Get your fucking popcorn. Let's go, okay? Let's go. We got Vasal Lomachenko, the Matrix documentary. Dun, dun, dun. Tonight, he makes his professional debut. He is a two-time Olympic gold medal champion from Odessa, Ukraine. Tommy Gaspada Vasil. Is this dude actually, like, really good, chat? Uh, he has supreme confidence, doesn't believe anyone can beat him. Uh, when you win two gold medals in the Olympics and you only lose one out two of four gold medals? In fights, guess what? It breeds confidence. Arguably the greatest amateur lost fighter twice? ever. Loma's pro debut was highly anticipated. God! Hey, you think he was... Out of there! Oh my God! I'm not gonna lie, that body shot would have got me. With potential, will that I would have been out. I'd be like, time. what? The silly wanted no part of that. Oh! Oh my God! Oh my God! Where's the towel? Where's the towel? Which he won 395. Ref. Ref, save this man. Oh my God, bro. His whole head has to just be butter right now. His brain is done. Like, oh my God. He's getting pieced up. Amazing combination. He getting pieced up right now. Look, look. Peek. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he felt that. Good body shot. Oh, oh another body shot. Oh, he down. felt that. <laughs> Ramirez went halfway across the world. Oh my God! I had Lomachenko in my top ten pound for pound when he had one pro fight, and people were, "What are you doing? How could you do that?" I will give it some time. Maybe you'll figure it out. But, I mean, after that, I'm like, "Hey, yo!" I mean, we do gotta see if you do more than that. Though, strength, but. his mother. Nah, hold up, baby, hold up. What is up, King? Hey, shout out to you, baby. 25 months is crazy, was it? I love you, baby. Thank you so much, King, for supporting me over time. It means a lot, real shit. ...was a gymnast, his father, a boxing trainer. Loma was trained by his father since the time he was a literal baby. I started training when I was uh, four years old. Yeah, he's number one. He's the best. What? And I think his father is the best, too. Fight. Oh, that's him uh, doing some uh, asambo. Competing in a... Mom, take me home. Mom, take me home right now. What are they feeding these little niggas? I had Wheaties this morning. What did he have? That's so fart. Oh, that's him uh, doing some uh, asambo. Hell Competing no. Competing in a plethora Hell of sports, no. Vasily excelled in almost any athletic undertaking. Football, swimming, not football, soccer. Soccer, uh, dancing. You, you know the story where his father made him do traditional Russian dancing? and just what? made him learn that for footwork. It seems like his dad was just a mastermind architect of a champion. The Matrix is everywhere. Uh, it's like how basketball players and football players, like they'll the take a- uh, arena. A lot of basketball players and football players will like train ballet just to like get better and lighter on their feet and stuff like that. I know a lot of wide receivers do it and running backs. Ready and able to contend for a title. When he was six, seven years old, his father insisted on four years of Ukrainian dance. And in just his second pro fight, he took his first shot. When you look at Lomachenko, you see exactly why this highly decorated amateur believes he can pull it off. Is that how you, you know, say amateur? You're supposed to say amateur? experience of 12 rounds against Orlando Salido. No way. He came in no way. overweight and weighed him by maybe 20 pounds. And Salido fought a very rough and probably dirty fight. For the vacant WBO featherweight championship of the world. I thought that was a giant sign in the crowd, bro. No cap. was a difficult one for the Green Vasily. They a seasoned champion in just his second fight. Well, he's moving on him. Vasily dominating the action. 307 or 397 amateur fights, 396 of them wins. And the one loss God. was avenged. 
Oh no, don't do me. Don't do me like that. Don't disrespect me, sir. Blows from Orlando. Roy Jones Jr. Oh. commentated on it all night. Repeat God! This kid threw low blow after low blow right there. Every time you see him let a low blow, blow blow, you'll see Lomachenko dip and go down like right there. After the fight, it was counted that Orlando used 41 strikes below the belt. He 41? Was not a single point. And he's D loose? Nah, nah, him. that's some parking lot shit after that. He's just a dreadful referee. Referee big fights and somehow miss what most other people in the arena can clearly see. <laughs> Bro, listen. Listen how much people are mad. How mad people are. And was lucky that he held on. To the winner by split decision, Orlando City. Oh, nah. See, nah. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. Where Weller at, man? Where Joe at, man? Nah. Mentally ready for a even, Wow, look at if, if that is that a shorty. His shorty looked like she don't even believe that. She like, yo, you're a cheater, gang. Good guy that was gonna take him twelve rounds and was gonna cheat a little bit. Nah, he gonna see me in that corner. That's what I would have said. I bet he thinking that right now. He like, yo, how much? How much do you think they would dock me and pay? If I just socked him right now in this corner. But the experience would ultimately be a good one for Vasily. An experience he credits with preparing him for the tactics of inferior fighters in the future. As an amateur, Vasily racked up an otherworldly record of 396 wins to just one loss. 300 fights? Vasily is on the short list of two-time gold medalists. He is an assault. That's exactly what you see. You don't nah. often find a guy who can three hundred fights. You gotta go to you gotta go to prison for assault. That's just crazy. You beat three hundred people. Three hundred different men lost brain cells to you. That's gotta be illegal, right? Gotta be. I mean, listen, do like a good 40, 50, call it a day. 300? 300? You win two gold medals consecutively back to back in the Olympics. That's like having a LeBron James and a Kobe Bryant come through all in one. In his one. third fight, Loma would take on Gary Russell Jr., who was unblemished in 24 pro fights. Oh, I mean, he had 300, so I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't even sign the deal. I'd be like, this man has seen more fists in his life than I've seen anything. I've barely even been alive that long. Okay, what's 300 days? You know what I mean, listen. Gary Russell oh. I think we saw a video on here, right, chat? People think. I mean, he only had two fights. You know, so we're definitely gonna expose Nah, the cameraman is wilding for this. This this angle is crazy. He got this man looking like a dwarf in the camera. That's so messed up. Was the one that uh, we got some tricks up our sleeve that we don't think he's ready for. I thought Gary Russell Jr. was the greatest thing since sliced bread. He fought Lomachenko. I was like, who's this Russian dude? I didn't even know he was Ukrainian. Never heard of him. He took Russell apart. God. Let's watch again in real time. For him to be able to compete Whoa. for a world title and only two Whoa. fights, it's, it's, it's a little shaky. It's a little shaky. You can't, uh, you can't take away from the laws of gravity. You know, if you jump up, you got to come down. He outclassed Russell from start to finish. He gets inside. He steps around. God. He gets underneath the arms. He's never that roll alone. He's working in the pocket. Come here. Come here. Come here. Holding Come Russell's here, punches landed to a paltry Ooh. 10 cents. Most dominant round for either fighter this round so far. Really fast fighter. And uh, Lomachenko completely outclassed him. Lomachenko going upstairs with that left uppercut. Action picking up here now under 30 seconds. God, bro, he's just so fast. Oh my God, walk him down. Walk him down. Walk him down. Why you have to do the black man like that? First loss. Oh, that was a clean duck though. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right there, I'm quit. 
Right there, I would have quit. I would have quit because I would have been feeling so good after I ducked that first one. I'd have been like, man, this dude is slow. I got this. I'm still in it. And as soon as I said in it, the, uh, just a giant fist comes out of nowhere and just drop. Like right here, this man is on top of the world, bro. On top of the world. He's like, I'm the best out here. I'm really the best out here. I took a punch. I did the best duck ever. Bink! I literally, right here, like, I, right as my head is leaning back and I'm staring up at God, I'm like, print the paperwork, Jesus. Put the retirement paperwork on the desk right now, man. Right now. What? Made that, he made that man look like a hoe. Oh, yeah, she like, that's about to be my man. She said, hey, Dad, get me in the locker room. I'm about to turkey base for that one. Vassal Lomachenko going up against Gary Russell and winning a world title and just his third fight. His third fight, Al. Anatoly is a genius. I mean, he really is a mastermind with tactics. Loma's training is a scientific process, unorthodox yet unquestionably effective, reminiscent to the approach Evander Holyfield took with his training. He started him very young. He had a process that he was going to put him through all the way through. Yeah. Dad's a mad scientist. Yeah. To increase his stamina, Vasily practices holding his breath underwater for as long as he can. His record what? is four and a half minutes. My, my record was what? A what? 30 seconds. What? Yeah. His father. No. How does. I, there's no way, bro. I'm what I would have. This sounds old. So if I would have heard this back in the day, you're telling me that people were like, oh, yeah, I'm telling y'all right now, that man's obviously a hoe. I'm going to get in the ring and prove to y'all that he's really not like that. There's no way. Bro was almost underwater for five minutes. I can barely keep my meat up for five minutes. This is crazy, chat. It this is, is crazy. Really a mess. He just underwater? When it comes to boxing. And Bro was training, sleeping under the pool. Fight. Instead, you spar 15 rounds, rounds. and instead of three minute rounds, you do four minute rounds. Four minutes instead rounds. Of this year? He's still fighting? He won more 400 fights. He a minute rest, you 30 seconds. Yeah. Did he fight? Did he fight Pacquiao chat? In his fourth fight, Loma fought the Asia Pacific champ. Who had or an uh, Floyd Mayweather? 51 or is that a different weight class? Defeat. And here's Lomachenko, regarded by many as the greatest amateur fighter of all time. One loss as an amateur, that loss twice avenged. Bottom line, he's the most precocious fighter of this age with this background ever to have appeared in the sport. The challenger is the WBO Asia Pacific champion. Number one contender in the sanctioning body. Lomachenko told his people, I want to fight one of the other belt holders. They said none of them are available. Yeah, Devin Haney is, is dumb contender. for even stepping in a ring with this dude. Roy Jones Jr. was amazed at the way he said the he went to war? the ring. This nigga is Muhammad Ali. Before, I'm not, what is going on right now? Around the well, better than Muhammad because he actually went to war. Combination throwing pressure fighters. What was that? What was that move? He like he like stayed close to his body and then that hook oh, uppercut oh my god and all of a sudden he's a fleet footed escape artist They gotta fire that referee. They gotta fire that referee. That's this dude got punched almost 30 times. Un like just he didn't even throw a jab. Bef like in the last like 20 seconds alone what's happening first time right. in 53 fights that this is an amateur fight oh this is perfect all i would have had to do bro i would have been so mad at my corner y'all let me go four rounds with this dude amateur you think i'm about to do this all the time get me out right now what are y'all doing bro this is crazy look at that man 
He wants to see Mama right now. That O'Perry Peniel has been on the game. And that's the first time in 53 fights that he's seen by C. Lobachico. Even by special fighter standards, you're watching something special. A true exhibition of greatness. This is sick. His, his hands move fast. His reaction and reflexes are super quick. God, man. He oh, must really not hit that hard, man, because how, how are these people WBO staying up in this fight? Champion Vasily Lomachenko. The edict from Loma was clear. Oh my he God. was only interested in fighting meaningful fights. No record padding for him. Nobody can help but be impressed by how Loma fights, by the technical skill that he has. And we haven't seen that maybe since the first young Ali. Loma is a nightmare of frustration. This explains the abnormal amount of cheap shots Loma's opponents deliver. God, is does everybody do this? Time and again. Bro, no! Lomachenko is just genetically like he's he's laced with fast twitch muscles. Oh it's no! Oh my God! Guys like us oh my God! The ring for a long time. It is a thing of beauty, and that's why he's already cracked my. If you gonna be a bitch, just get out the ring. Bro got a Bible verse on his pants, and he's being a bitch. God is literally up top right now. Like you, oh, take it off. He, I'm surprised he ain't thun he ain't thunderstrike the arena. No cat. I'm surprised. Top five pound for pound lifters. You know, uh, the guy who does Neck the go. best day. Neck is gone. Neck right is gone. Neck is gone. Oh my. You could throw a punch, and that punch could be in midair. And he's spinning, and he's already behind you. Uh, get low oh. 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 Another fast combination. Then he's over here, and then he's punching you in the face. And Lomachenko stands right in front of you, and then he's not. Oh, no. There ain't one person on Misfits that can even come close to taking these hits, bro. And counter punch and switch. How like, fast this dude is? Oh, oh my God! I'm like, how'd you do that? I'm like, how'd you practice that? His fluidity and ability to dance around the ring help him to be in the right place at the right time. Every time, look Every how quick. Time. Like, he was just going on his back foot and he was ready to lead that lunge forward? That's a knockdown, pussy. And Rodriguez is down for the second time. Count it up, Six, count it up, seven, count it up. Eight, he ain't coming back, nine. he ain't coming back, ref. He is the winner by way of knockout. He is still the WBO featherweight champion of the world, Vasily Loma. What up, Presto? What's fascinating to me is in your training that you get, you post online, I see on the countdown videos. I mean, who comes up with this stuff? Is it your father? You're doing the reaction drills. This is a um, special exercise for mind flexibility. You need to switch from muscle work to intelligence work. Loma also trains in skating, juggling, tennis, and gymnastics. Traditional boxing exercise. What? What what does tennis do? This is alternated with non-standard methods. Anything that may aid in some way to his boxing repertoire. I mean, he does have to strengthen up for those low blows. Those low blows, you know what I mean? I see why he's riding them horses, man. You got to get that growing up. I feel that. I respect it. In boxing life, he gave me a special exercises. I do not boxing, not boxing exercises. Yeah, unconventional. Yeah. Yeah, his training regimen is pretty cool. Yeah. And they said it was just crazy that the hours that he puts in, how he trains, how hard he trains, and some of the drills that he does. The way he he's so agile with the stepping of his feet. It's like I think a lot of people are gonna learn and mirror that. In his seventh professional fight, Loma moved up in weight to face off with the junior lightweight champion, Rocky Martinez. 
in Madden Champion. Why is he so effective in the ring? Oh, there's so many reasons. Well, I start with technique. His technique is impeccable. In his next fight, Loma would take on an undefeated champion, Nicholas Walters. Nicholas Axman Walters! Only a special fighter and a special performance wins a matchup like this. They're both special tonight. Bro, please. Please stop. Stop putting my Walter kings on a canvas. A, artist, a genuine star. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ref, 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 call it. Ref, ref, get me the fuck out. Ref, get me out. There's two niggas in here hitting me. Oh He's my God. Keep your hands at home a lot. Every time he dodges, he gets hit. I, I would be sick. I would be sick. Oh my God, what is happening? With the small or the light offense, then once he gets several at home, he brings a bomb. And Lomachenko, as he did to Gary Russell Jr. Look at this. Just I bet he go, I bet he go follow it. I bet he go, look at that. Loma he caught him. Loma. He was already holding his head. Oh my God. Dominating the this man is sick. The way he seems to know exactly what he wants to do from moment to moment. No, I don't want to no. No. Fire, 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 fire. no. Don't want to continue. No. Okay. You're stopping the fight. That's astonishing. The smartest man on the planet. It's astonishing. It's genius. This man wants to go home. He knows, listen, there's two different types of people out here. There's people who want to go home to their families, okay? And there's other people who were born and bred to be a murderer. And that is literally what this man was. Like, come on, man. I wasn't raised in a lab. Lomachenko was raised in a lab. Man was literally in a boxing gym with gloves bigger than him practicing. Like, nah, bro. I was out here on the mongoose. I was riding around with the homies. I was chilling with the guys on the, on the little green box in the neighborhood. And then all of a sudden, this guy was like, hey, you should come join this gym. That's what happened. Like, I was like 16. Lomachenko, he wasn't even talking. He was punching the speed bag. The tradition in American, North American boxing is a, a champion would not stop fighting at that moment. A finish that came via Shut Walters up. quitting on his stool. Shades of Leonard versus Duran. No mas. Y'all saw what that man was doing to me? You know, you're not supposed to climb baseball. You can't quit. You're not supposed to low blow either. Y'all niggas be giving these pussy ass, bitch ass niggas another chance. Somebody does it more than twice or three times in a match, it's intentional. They should never, ever, ever be able to fight again. But y'all be giving fines. Niggas be weird. Stop having these dumb ass opinions. It's stupid. Quit it's fucking boxing. stupid. Prince's very own Vasil Lomachenko has been recognized as the best boxer in the world. What makes Vasily Lomachenko the best then? Because his style is so unorthodox going kind of, most of the time he's southpaw but then he, he switches his hands switches his legs rank pound for pound best fighter in the world by espn the ring magazine and writers the boxing writers association of america is this chris karate kid getting in the ring room this man has nazi scientists standing behind him do y'all see this man i swear i seen this nigga on a documentary somewhere bro looks crazy oh god oh i'm telling y'all it's calculated it's calculated, man. This is this is gonna be crazy. Oh, I'm already knowing. And say, wait a minute, this guy's not experienced, but he is. Lomachenko's attempting to also become one of the greatest pros ever, and there have been very few careers that have been. This oh, I'll have him out first game. round. Okay. Oh, hold up. Yeah, throw that shit again. Throw that shit again. Throw that shit again. Come on. Loma attempted to fight any of the other belt holders in his division willing to fight him. They were all afraid. So Loma defended his belt against Jason Sosa. And by the way, how about the stamina? God, Jason! Get out of the ring! How oh my move? Where are you just going? Where? Rap, he just teleported! This nigga just vented in the ring! Chat! <laughs> Give me the fuck. <laughs> no! I can't think of anyone quite like Lomachenko. He's showing us something new. If you look at Lomachenko, he takes those steps to the right and to the left, sort of like Mike Tyson used to do to set up his punches from the right and left. 
and for the second straight fight, Loma made his opponent quit on their stool. And now they're going to stop. Good for Rivas. Correct call. Good job. Absolutely. Yeah. Loma yeah. was now being dubbed. Ain't no might to it. He was definitely giving Mayweather a run for his money. Look how quick he is, bro. I don't understand how they haven't fought yet. That's got to be some pussy shit. Every which way. Every which way saying that, hey, I am the best. I fear no man, not you. You can't hit me, and I can hit you. Shoot ever in your life. Shoot ever in your life, man. My kids are out here. My kids are out here. And he gonna wind his fist up like that? My kids are here. Oh, my God. Oh my God! Like the, the the most embarrassing stuff in the world happens in a ring. It, like, like you go beat my ass and you go rev it up like we in Looney Tunes. Like, come on, bro. For the third straight time, his opponent quit on his stool. That is it. Nomaschenko struck again, winning by way of submission. You're fighting for the first time in the history of boxing. What does he keep? First of all, why are black people just so dominant out here that we're just always holding hella belts and shit? You know what I'm saying? What's going on? Secondly, why is he just putting all of us on a canvas? Somebody got to be able to stop this man, brother. Two two time gold medalists are getting in the ring. Lomachenko. He dodges punches like Neo dodges bullets. Fittingly, he's been nicknamed The Matrix. The Matrix is everywhere, it is all around us. Even now, in this very room, you can see it when you look out your window. Next thing I know, I'm two or three rounds into it, and I'm going, he's playing with Brigandel. Yeah. He's playing with him, I'm going, how? What is he doing? He's beginning to believe. But it's all set up by his feet. Look at his feet. Look at his feet. Unfortunately, no one can be told what the Matrix is. You have to see it for yourself. Oh, my God. No, this is what he's doing to this man. Oh my! He is the Matrix with I'm his like, angles. is there anybody in the ring? I know I'm getting hit, but I keep swinging yeah, at this this figure, and less than somehow he keeps dismantled in the Matrix. Undefeated world champion, and he's toying with him. He is the one. He can't say that one anymore. God. Are you kidding me, bro? The undefeated States. number. I'm like, I feel like it took until like last year and this year where I've really been starting to like come across like really great people in the world. I feel like I've been following so many like just false, trashy, horrible people. But anyway, now like I'm really starting to see like greatness will really make like even the best of people look like they've just done no training in their entire life. Like they like people who are really good can make people who are also very good look terrible. Like, look like they just know nothing about what sport they're entering into. Like, it's insane to me. Number seven, pound for pound fighter, is not coming out to continue against Roy. Another opponent quitting on his stool, submitting to the will of Lomachenko. Yeah, I'm yeah, giving a new name to Lomachenko. No muzz. Chanko, mm -hmm. there it is. That's the fight that really sold me on Lomachenko, that he's that good. 11 oh, fights it took and he wins that his third one? world title. What in the f It took the third world title for him to, it took the third world title for him to be like, oh, okay, yeah, this guy's got it. What? From 130 pounds to 135, from junior lightweight to lightweight. Loma would move up and wait again to face off with the lightweight world champion. Jorge Linares. I was wondering whether uh, Vasily had bitten off. This dude in the ring got to have three world titles, right? If he ain't got three world titles, I don't want to even. I, this is what I be hating about boxing. Like, people be coming out of nowhere with, like, no fights, and they be like, oh, man, this might be a challenge for him. Man's did fall 400 niggas. What is going on?
What are, what are we talking about right now? What are we, Mans was literally like, he didn't even get to play with Legos as a kid. He wouldn't get to play with Legos. He was going to ballet class and, and beating up little kids in the parking lot. More than he could shoot. Now it was time to see who the best fighter in the world is now. Lenaris and Lomachenko, round number one for the lightweight title. In a quest to secure his third title in yet another division, Lenaris was considered the number one lightweight in the world. A real challenge for the Matrix. God. The fight was a back and forth affair early. Good from Lomachenko. Touched him to the body and then split the guard upstairs. Loma was the more skilled, but Jorge had a large size and power advantage. Oh, so that's what it was. So it was literally just because he was bigger. Yeah, smaller man. Those hits in. hurt. And there really is quite a size difference. You can just see it. Then, in the sixth round, Loma got caught. Oh! Dang, that's crazy. That's got to be like the weirdest moment ever because that's like the first time people got to see him like really get dropped in the ring after he didn't just beat any and everything. That's crazy. I, oh, this is pivotal. Okay, let's see. He was fine right away. Uh, and like I said, he showed another dimension. A right hand from Lenaris pours the pound for pound best. For the first time in his career, Loma was knocked down. The momentum switched, and Lenaris went on the attack. Swing back towards Oh my God! No, nah, don't hold up. Loma persevered. Oh, but he better. Delivering a lethal combination that culminated with a devastating body shot. Come on, come on, don't hold up on me. Come on, come on. Get your fucking cookies, nigga. Get your fucking cookies, nigga. Come on, eat your dinner, nigga. Eat your dinner. He felt that shit, and I like that he didn't go in for that last hit. That's hella respectable. That man lost every every type of breath in his body. It was just everything. Every gas tank, every reserve was gone. Oh my god. Oh, okay, so this is the third one. Gotcha. The win shattered the record for the fewest fights needed to secure titles in three divisions. There was no resting on his laurels after winning his third title. Instead, Loma aimed to unify the lightweight belts against Jose Pedraza. We fade second half. You cannot fade against the Matrix, Lomachenko. He dropped him like, oh, he ate that? Oh, God, this is, uh, these are those things that I hate, bro, because I just know I'm going to get in a ring. I'm going to hit somebody with, like, the hardest thing that I have, like, the hardest punch that I think I have in my inventory, and he's just going to look back at me like, that's it? And I'm, I'm going to just, I'm be like, all right, ref, that was, that's it. I'm going to keep a towel in my junk just so I can let people know, like, all right, bro, I'm out. That was all I had. That was it. That was all I had. That was all I practiced for. That was it. I can't do nothing more. <laughs> I can't do no more. Get me out. Get me out. In with a lead left hand that time against Pedraza. That's exactly what I was talking about from the first he round. Is, he knocks down the jab of Pedraza and Come throws on. a straight left what hand you got? down the middle. What you got? The fight was mostly uh, one-sided. Uh, until... Loma landed an incredible 46% of his 345 power punches. Ah! How did they get that angle? What was that? Oh my, that was fire. 42. Nah, reload the ting. Reload the ting. Oh, good uppercut from Loma. 42 power punches landed in that 11th round. Takes that angle and scores with a massive upset. And down goes Pedraza. God. I need that. I would have that on every 
wall in my house. I need that on every wall. He survives the round, but Lomachenko was absolutely sensational. He is now the unified WBA and WBO lightweight champion of the world, Vasily Lomachenko. This is levels above. This is one of the great fighters of the last 10, 20 years in Lomachenko, who just seems to be getting stronger and better, and he wants more. Loma destroyed Anthony Corolla. Why do people keep getting in a ring with this man? Bro went up, bro went up three weight classes and said, oh yeah, you know what? I could beat this man. What? Anthony Crawler, who needs some time here. You know, four belts, it means you are, you are the best in your weight classes, the best. You are one, one world champion, not four world champion, you won. In his next outing, Lomachenko captured his third ah. belt in his fourth weight class. How good. Fourth weight? Think he's the best pound for pound fighter in the world. Campbell was a much larger fighter than Loma. Loman Chenko's a guy who moved up from featherweight, so most people now are going to be the naturally bigger guy. God! Give me your hand, boy! Loma Give me your hand, boy! Movie, that boy about to eat. Yeah, Let him so cook. Let him cook, yeah. chat. Let him cook, chat. Yeah. Sure. It's something to watch, man. It's just the, the, the ability to, to move and also to anticipate mm. the other fighter's movement. Mm. That hurt, this didn't it? That's what I've been talking to the whole time. Like, that hurt, didn't it, bitch? He's like right that hurt, didn't it? Why? But he's one step ahead God. of you at every turn. Loma was sharp. He dictated the action, staying aggressive. Landing cursing body shots. Chopping away at the much larger fighter. He wants to be matched only with the best. Right to the temple? Vasily Lomachenko is considered by most boxing experts to be the pound-for-pound -pound best fighter on the planet. How high he climbs on the all-time list will be one of the biggest stories in boxing over the next several years. Vasily Lomachenko, The Matrix. Nobody brings it home like Joe. It's nobody. Nobody, bro. Nobody. Don't nobody got it like bored, bro. Oh my God, Joe. You sexy bastard. You be going crazy, man. You be going crazy. Mm -hmm. God, that was brilliant. Mm -hmm.